morning to you ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to the best town in all of the land. I don't know why this place is called Banished, it should be called Flourished because Philadelphia is absolutely mad hopping right now. It's the best city that the world has ever seen. Look at all these people going about lifting rocks. You think you'd use a wheelbarrow or something and be able to do it a bit better, so... The funny thing about this series is that a lot of people were giving me tips right off the bat and that was great and everything, but... By the time I had some episodes recorded, the first episode hadn't got up yet, so I couldn't utilize some of the tips. And some of it I kind of learned as I went along anyway. Um, about like different outposts and spreading things out and putting things over here so they can get more... work done and all that kind of stuff. Really great tips. Um, but the thing that I saw a lot of people say was that... They don't know how my people have stayed alive so long, because apparently this game is really hard. Or at least it used to be. Maybe it's not as hard as it was before. Maybe I'm playing on an easier mode. I can't remember what I actually picked. Um, but all my people are doing really, really well. I'm actually surprised I got this far myself. I did lose two towns. The first one was my own fault. The second one, again, my own fault. But that was more because I didn't know a mechanic more so than running out of anything. Um, how are you guys doing? Okay, I don't know. We should have lots of rock going on now. It's just iron that we need to get next. Um, I might need to have a, have to build a little bridge over this. Um, I could put more forestry lodges in places. And I've also started off with the smallest map. So, we're going to run into the limits of this map very, very soon. I can't really build anything else onto this. Because there's not a whole lot of space to be able to do it. I don't know what I should be building next though. Um, we have a lot of people going into the school. That's good. Shalandra? Poor Shalandra. <laughs> Shalandra become a fucking meme by the end of all this. Is that you? No, that's Jillian. You look like Shalandra. Poor Shalandra. There she is. Poor Shalandra. <laughs> There's no one to love her in her life. Um, I'm not sure if I should be building stone houses. I don't think it's probably worth it. It's probably better to just keep it the way it is. Another tip I was getting was that if these things are at max capacity, if these things are overworked or if they're like, what, the, what does it say? The production limit has been reached. That I should maybe be taking some of these people out and putting them in other jobs, but it seems to like... If I do that, I'm worried that I'll, I'll forget to put them back in. And sometimes like these guys reach their production limit pretty quick, but then they come back fairly soon after that, so I think- I think we're going good. I think we're okay. Um, do I have two fishing docks? I do. Has anybody come to the trader place yet? No. Some people are also saying that the trader place could take years. It could take years before someone actually comes. Don't just stand there looking at the deer. Kill him! Look at this tiny one! Oh, that's cute. So, I don't know. It makes me feel better knowing that maybe the trading post is working as intended. I'm just not getting anybody to come to it yet. I don't know. Um, right, what should we do next? I don't, I don't need to build more houses because I don't have enough people to put into them. Um, and nobody's going to utilize them enough. So we're at 32 adults now. When that starts going up, then we have places for people to work. Man, this game looks gorgeous when this weather hits. When you're up here, it's kind of washed out and white in the clouds, but then you come down, it's nice and it's vibrant. And it's alive, and the cottages and the, the little stone and wooden houses look so cute and gorgeous. It's really nice. It's just a little lake up there. Okay, how far do you reach, uh, forestry cabin? So I could technically put another one over here. Yeah. Might do that after. We have one more adult out in the wild now. Where should I put them to work? Not sure. There's four in the fishing things. There's four in the forestry lodges. Maybe over here? Because a lot of people can go in here. That side of the game is kind of confusing as well. I don't like the menu system. Because it's kind of hard to figure out, well, am I at capacity? How many people can I put into these areas? I don't know, it's a bit weird. I could start building new things, like a new hunting lodge. New forestry thing. I don't know, would that be worth it? I'm gonna put a forester's lodge here. Just right there. It can do all the trees around this area and then 
Because there'll be people working there as well. I might put some more hunting lodges and fishing areas over here. Could build another bridge. I don't know, at this stage, stuff is going really well and I don't really know how I'd progress it beyond this. So I'm kind of just building whatever just to make things look nice. Because I think... I don't know, my, my thing might be pretty self-sustaining now at this stage. You don't have the materials necessary to be able to do anything. Uh, okay, let's, let's try this out. If you take one person out of there and a person out of there... Oh, maybe not out of the woodcutters. I don't know. If they help build, and then we should have materials for that. I don't know, let's see what happens. Because I could build the place huge. I could build Philadelphia to be the biggest, baddest town in all the land, but... I mean, I'm running out of space. <laughs> okay, there's the bridge being built. Boom. And now you just need to bring all the stuff over there. And then we'll be- we'll be Goldie. We'll be Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Actually, I'm gonna put somebody back in here. Reserve of logs is low. Okay. Wait, what are you? Oh, you're the blacksmith. It might not be a good idea to take him out. If the reserve of logs- the reserve of logs can't be fucking low. I have so many forestry areas chopping down and planting trees constantly. You guys are doing that, right? Right? You fucking better be. Yeah, now we have 34. So we have two adults that... don't have jobs, I think. So as soon as this is built... As soon as this is built, did you really go home? Small bit of rain. Scaring them off like that. Stop being scared. Get back there. The, the boy, man, mayor of Philadelphia commands you to rebuild! Don't just go over there and fucking look at it. Build it! There we go. Alright. So now we have... Okay, yeah, you all seem to be sharing. Okay, we'll put you back in here. Just so you can make more tools. Now this one is saying that there's nobody in this. Which is that- that's bad. Wait. Is that why? I thought I had an extra dude! I don't know what happened. I thought I had 34 a second ago. Did someone devolve? Did someone turn back into a child? Who the fuck knows, man? This quarry is going well. 99% remaining. I'm gonna dig me a hole. Where, where's Shalondra? In this house was just Shalondra. Now we have Berto and Jillian. Did Shalondra get kicked out of her house to allow a couple to move in? What happened? She didn't fucking die, did she? Is that why it went down to 34? Did she leave? Wait. Now Shalandra's in here, in the stone house. Okay, I mean, I'm glad you're not dead, Shalandra. Because I was really worried that she just disappeared or something. But you just seem to be living in an old folks home now. All the people here, well, Eduardel is 20. Who's our oldest citizen, actually? That's a good question. Hayde is 62. I don't think we're going to get much older than 62. Because the thing that's going to happen eventually, which I'm worried about, and that might be the bringer of doom to Philadelphia, is that people are going to start dying. And then I'm going to need to build a grave. But I don't know what happens when, like, people die and my numbers start getting messed up then. Because if they start dying, I might be out of jobs, and then I might need to start producing more humans. I don't know if I have the means to produce more hu hu more humans. Just yet. Okay. No, what are you doing? Oh, wait. No, I'm in the resource tab. I want to get rid of the resource destruction tab. Get rid of all these trees right here. Bang. Please. I want them gone. I want them out of my sight. I don't want any more. So we have seven students now, which bring us to a total of 40 adults if they all graduate soon. And we have six kids. 
So, no. So as long as we can balance out the the people, we should be okay. I need I need two more people though. I took people out of the tailors and out of the herbalists to put them into the forestry lodges because because I needed more foresters and these people were already at max capacity for ages and you didn't even have the materials to be able to do what you needed to do. So hurry up. Hurry up and graduate. Okay, two people graduated. That is fantastic. So I can put seven people in the forestry lodges. Is that good? Shouldn't I only need six? Two, two, and two? How many forestry lodges do I have? I think I only have three. One, two, and three. That should be enough. I feel like I can put somebody else into something else if I want to. I could put another hunting cabin down. Hmm? Hunting cabin? I guess I should start building like a hospital or something. Mainly because I want to. We haven't built a hospital yet and I want to see what it looks like. I want to see how badass it is. I've learned, somebody told me that the, the market, I don't know where the fuck that was. We had it somewhere. That the market, you put that down if you want to make it easier to get resources from town to town. So if you're playing in a giant area. <gasps> Traitor! <laughs> I sounded like Kylo Ren in um, Star Wars. Traitor! <laughs> I, I, or was, was it Kylo Ren who said that? I can't fucking remember. But the, the market is if you have like a town way, way, way in one corner and a town in another corner, I think, and then you put the, the market in the middle to make it easier for all the towns to interact with each other, all the outposts kind of thing. I don't know if that's true. I, I think it is. I'm not sure. But okay, wait. We can put something on auto purchase when the merchant arrives, but as you can see, I don't have any options for livestock. So maybe you can only get livestock when it comes in in here. I'm not sure. We have to keep an eye on that fucking trader. But for now. Should I build a tavern? That increases happiness. But if I build a... What does this... The school, I have that. Town hall, used to record and show census data. I don't care. Provides happiness for the devout and a place to meet and worship. And then a grave. Hospital is used to heal disease. But that's the thing. It's not going to stop my people from dying and... Because I'm in one of the easier modes, or because nobody has even come close to disease yet, my people die of starvation. Starvation and cold are the biggest things that will kill me. So what I'm going to build is a fucking tavern. Brews alcohol and makes citizens happy. I want to make my people happy. My people deserve to be happy. Okay? And a tavern is what's going to do that. Plus, what is a fucking town without a tavern? I'm an Irishman building a town. Back in Ireland, the tiniest villages had like six pubs in it. Where I grew up, I'd say there was no more a population than like 2,000 people in the whole village. It was, it was a really small place. And even there, there was one, two, three, four pubs? It's like, when you think about the population, yeah, 2,000 sounds like a big number. I actually have no idea how many people live there. I, I, could I look it up? Clahan! In Ireland. Clahan County Offaly in Ireland is where I grew up. It's where I started off my whole life. There's a total of 453 people in it. 453 people where I grew up. 2,000. I was- I thought 2,000 was being on the low side as well. But no, 400 people where I grew up. And there was six pubs. No, that's six. Four pubs. Why am I saying six? Oh yes. Waddle on down, dude. So yeah. Every fucking place needs a pub. Ah, oh, can you actually get under my bridge? Please tell me you can. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Yeah, come to trade in the snowy times as well. You came at a fucking fantastic time. Oh, it actually tells me when the merchant's here. That's cool. Okay, let's pause. Um, customer order from Verley. Okay, let's look for seeds. I can buy better seeds for different things. Can I buy livestock? They're not even selling any. Oh wait, chicken. But are you cooked chicken? Are you chicken that's already done? Yeah. Chicken and beef. You're not actual chickens. I could get eggs. Could I get eggs and hatch them or are they just for eating? I'd imagine they're just for eating. What if I bought some eggs and some chicken? 
and just like smashed them together and created life. I mean, that's how we were all created. Atoms went down to a singularity and burst out into a fucking million billion bits. Who's to say it can't happen again? I feel like I should get some seeds. Let's get some fruit. I want to get some pears. I like pears. How do I how do I order you? I don't fucking know. Okay, wait. Never mind the pears. He's selling peppers. Can I plant them? Okay, so I have to match his his output. So let's get Oh no, those are Those are just peppers done, right? How do I just click this and actually buy it? I don't know, because there's no money in the game. Oh, wait, I was just buying pears. These are the seeds. The seeds are what I need. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Okay, I traded some potatoes for some peppers, just so I actually used the dude. So other than that, I don't know what happens. I still have this clicked. Have it clicked on just once. So maybe something will happen when they leave. They don't really have a whole lot to get anyway, so I might just let them go. But at least I used them. At least now I know that the person shows up. The reserve of iron is low. Oh shit, I need- oh wait, we have enough iron to build it. I didn't realize I needed iron for the tavern. Ah, sure, where would you be going without iron in the tavern? That's a fierce fucking snowstorm going on. Hope you guys are keeping warm. Hope you guys are okay. Maybe, hopefully. Did somebody make more babies? They sure did. Okay, that means now that they're making babies, that means I'm going to build another house. Just because I want to see... If it fills up. If it doesn't fill up, at least it's there. So somebody can go into it whenever people grow up. You know what I mean? You get me? People will come of age. Because some of the people who were kids before that came adults should be coming of age eventually to make babies. So we'll see what happens. You almost built. You surely are. And then, boom. We have one barkeep. Ha <laughs> So now we're making, what are we making? Apple ale. Cherry ale. Cherry's one of my favorite flavors of anything, so making cherry ale is a great thing for Philadelphia. Philadelphia eat, drink cherries. Chili cherries, we'll call them. They'll be a big hit, and they'll sell bucket loads, and we'll be rich. The trader's still here. You bored? I would be if I were you. Whoa! You guys built that house fast, and people moved into it. Which means I'm building another one. Okay, these houses are getting all wonky. Some of them are sticking out further now. Shit. It's not as symmetrical as it once was, but it's fine. It'll do. The people of Philadelphia, I still love you. You are still good people. What do you actually need to be able to make your shit? The materials required to perform work are not available. Oh, fuck. I need to make some apple trees, don't I? Well, you need... See, I don't fucking know how to get these seeds from this dude. Hmm. Maybe we'll make another orchard over here. I don't have anything that I can grow, though. All I have are walnuts! What are we... Ah, and they're gone. I had auto-purchase grains for when merchant leaves. Did I get grains? Fuck. Well, uh, can I make walnut ale or something? I don't have anything for any of these. Shit. Just built a tavern for no fucking reason. Oh, wait. Now they're working. Okay. Oh, because I had berries, of course. What kind of berries do they have? I have no idea. Berries! Just regular old berries. Aha! So now the berries are actually going into something. Can I make pumpkin ale? Okay, good. Thank God. I was worried there for a sec. Two more people moved in. Dude! Houses for days! 
See, they're all next to each other, but they're not perfectly aligned. Because now I can't put the road down here. That's annoying. I want to be able to do that. I have two people not doing anything. I need to put them somewhere, I guess. Over here. So we can get more rocks. But I really should be building other things for you to be able to get stuff out of. Um, let's build... Where does this hunting cabin go as far as? Let's build another hunting cabin over here somewhere. Why fuck not? You know what I'm saying? This music is scary. You're making it seem like some sort of impending doom is coming towards Philadelphia. And Philadelphia got lots of chill. It was Chilton that ain't got no fucking chill. This place is hopping. This place is going well. People are out working in the fucking rain and everything. Okay, the people move into this house. Holy God. We're going to have so many people living in Philadelphia. I'm going to put you down here just so you can come off the road down there. This is awesome. Shalandra's still in here. Poor Shalandra. Shalandra living on her own. And then she was waiting for love to knock at the door, but love never came. Love was just like, what the fuck? No, I don't. Stop. Poor Shalandra left there forever. Poor Shalandra. We all love her though, right? Look at my dude's work. Look at them go! They're like ants! Just a well-functioning hive mind bouncing around. I like the layout of my town as well. It's probably not the most efficient, but I really like it. It seems to be working for me. Everything seems to be going great. I'm building another hunting cabin down here. It's it's just inside where this one is, so there's a bit of a Venn diagram going on. But we're covering all this area here. I probably should have brought it over a small bit, but whatever. Fucking shit's done. Let's just build it the way it is. I can take two people out of here. Any any overflow of people that I have go in here. So I can keep getting rocks. And then once this is built, I can bring the people over here. Two people moved into that house. I have a massive town going on. Look at all the people we have. Six kids, right. So we keep an eye on that. And then I can build them all into stone houses, even though they're ruining the aesthetic. This is like brick, but then this is dark brick. I don't like it, man. Normally when I play these games, I'm terrible at them. And my people die, like, immediately. So it makes me really happy that I've managed to keep all these dudes alive. It makes me feel like I actually learned something about the game. <laughs> Darvy the farmer has died of old age! No! <laughs> we lost the love, beloved citizen of Philadelphia. We need to mourn them. We need a funeral. I had 39 people, now it's down to 38. My first death. Well, not my first death. I mean, the last town that I was at before I changed my name and citizenship. I know those people died, but shh, they don't count. They weren't part of the thing. Oh, that means I have to start building a grave somewhere. Oh, no! That fucking sucks! Poor Darvy! They worked themselves to the bone! I'll never forget you, Darvy. You did a great service for me here today. I'm gonna build a cemetery over here. So it's not affecting, because I there's nothing really over here that I can get to. And if I need any of this stuff, I can just come around. This will be like Dead Island over here. For people to go to. I probably should have made it the whole thing, right? But I don't have enough dead people to go in yet. Um, but before we can do any of that, you guys need a little... Wait, can I build a tunnel? A tunnel would be badass to have. Nah, let's build a bridge. Everyone's making babies! That's what I like to see. I'm hoping that I can get this whole area... I might even take out this and move it somewhere else then. I'm hoping I can get this entire area to be houses. That'd be so cool. I love my people of Philadelphia. They are the coolest, most chill people of all. Oh, firewood is low. You don't even have the wood to be able to do it. Okay, knock down those trees. What are my foresters doing? Okay, can you come build the rest of this bridge? Whoa, that changed quick. Did you just come up and tap it twice with a hammer and leave? Here we go. Here. Motherfuckers. Ah. So I don't actually need anyone to like manage it. I don't need like a grave digger or anything like that. Well, that's handy. Man, I thought it would just be like 
I don't know why I didn't think there wouldn't be walls on it, but now I can't really extend it. I have to build like another plot next to it if I want to. Shit. Is a grave actually gonna go in there though? That's what I'm curious about. Somebody did die. So we'll see what happens. Traitor! Yes! What do you got for me today, bro? Can I... animals? These are not animals. These are more seeds. How do I get these? I don't know how I get these. Oh, I had to look it up. These are orders. Which, yes, makes perfect fucking sense. Oh, you're offering me chestnut seeds, though. That's good. Do I not have these? Okay. So this is... You're ordering these for when they come around next time. But it has to be the same trader again that comes around next time for you to be able to get these. So you're basically saying, hey, I want all these things. Come back next time with them. So we get some cherry. We get some pear. Some beans. Apples. And some corn. Yeah, because I'm growing potatoes already, so I don't need that stuff. So these things would be great. So you can see if you want them every visit or just once. All right, so, oh, fuck's sake. What are you selling me now that I can have? Trade, chestnut seeds, right. You must trade an additional 2,500 units to be able to get this. I can only buy 2,500? Oh, shit. How many things do I have? None, my people ate them all. I don't have 2,500 things to be able to sell. Well, that fucking sucks. All right, well, hopefully you come back with some good stuff next time. For now, I don't really have anything for you. Oh, there's a lady standing in the middle of this. I thought you were gonna put down a grave. I guess not. Okay, do I have more people now? I do, I have one more person. Hmm. Where should that one more person work? Me no no, me have no idea. I'm gonna just put in a hospital anyway. I know I don't need one, but I kinda just wanna have one, you know? Did you ever just want something, and then you went for it? I need 32 iron. Do I have that? I do not have that, so I need to find some iron to dig up. After a while, I could probably get a mine, and then dig it up that way. Okay, there's iron over here. I could just sweep the whole fucking area. <gasps> Look at all the iron over this way! Whoa! Okay, take that iron, and take that iron. That should be enough. Are you telling me the reserve of iron is low? Yeah. <laughs> Way ahead of you, bro! You can't beat me! You probably can. You'll beat me into submission eventually. Is this iron? That's fucking iron right there! Collect that! It was much closer, damn it! I don't know if you guys can actually get across this. Can you walk that? Because there's loads of iron over here. I'm curious to see if you can actually get that. We'll do a little test. We'll make a little love. We'll get down tonight. <gasps> hey, the hunter has died of old age. No, my people are all dying. Shit, man. That sucks. No! Luaneth, the teacher has died of old age. I'm down a fucking teacher now. Somebody just fill in the space? What's what's going on? My people are all dying. It's of old age. Which in a way is good. Because it means they're not all just dying of dysentery or anything like that. And nobody's come over to claim this, so maybe you actually can't walk that. Which sucks. So I guess we build a little bridge. We just build a small one. Where should I build it? Um. Because I don't know where anything's going yet. I'll build it over here. Tiny one. So they don't have that far to get to actually build it. Everything's connected. Everything's all good. Everything's hunky daisies. I'm so sad that my people are dying. I was a good mayor, lord, overruler, right? 
I treated them well. I mean, I did work them ten times the speed that they probably should be working, like, all the fucking time. But that's only because I care. It's only because I love too much. I'm also building more houses because people keep moving in. Because everyone wants to move to Philadelphia. Everyone's heard great things on TripAdvisor, so they want to move to Philadelphia. They want to get the chill experience. It's like, oh, people of Philadelphia ranked world's most happy city. So everyone's like, Matt, I want to bite me off a piece of that happiness ass. Ah, shit. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Halt, halt production. Halt production. We don't need another house because only one guy moved in there. One girl. Princenza. That's a fucking cool name. So you guys can all go off and cut down trees now. Thanks. Appreciate it. Man. Philadelphia is really fattening out, right? It's really bulking up. What are we low on? Reserve of logs is low. The reserve of firewood is low. Yeah, you go hand in hand. We've explained this. We've been over, we've been over how this works. Okay, so while well, my little minions here, I mean citizens, my lovely beloveds, get to work here and keep the train a rolling, I am going to upgrade this house first. And I'm also going to leave this episode here. Yes, I know you're homeless right now, but it's fine. You won't be homeless for long. If you build you if you help rebuild your house into stone, then you won't be homeless and you'll get a great experience out of it. Why are you guys cold? Why are you cold? I don't like the cold one. Okay, it disappeared. When I went past the tree, it did a magic trick. It was like sleight of hand, it just vanished. Can we do this fucking house anyway. Thank you guys so much for chilling with me this time. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! Like a boss! And I buy all row. Whoosh! Whoosh! Well, thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! Philadelphia got no chill. <laughs>